now let's talk about potential difference. What is potential difference? Let's give an example of a roller coaster ride. A roller coaster works by bringing the cart to the highest point. A machine actually brings a cart to the highest point like this. It goes and once it reaches the highest point, the machine actually releases the cart where it will roll down freely. A little bit like releasing a shopping cart down a slope. There is no engine pushing the cart down the slope until it reaches the bottom. So from what we learned in chapter 6, the highest part of the roller coaster, which will be here, will have the highest gravitational potential energy. And after it completes all its turns and swings, and it comes down to here, the lowest part of the roller coaster would have the lowest gravitational potential energy. So this is quite a good comparison to a battery and a circuit. Imagine the machine that pulls the cart up the initial slope is the battery. The battery has a plus side and a minus side. These represent high potential and low potential. So right now, if it's a battery on its own and there is no pathway connecting high potential to low potential, current cannot flow from the positive to the negative. However, once you connect a wire from one side to the other side, this is like connecting the path of the roller coaster from the high potential side to the low potential side, therefore allowing current to roll down from the high potential to the low potential. Like this plus sign represents charges at the high potential area. Therefore, once it releases, it will actually roll down and because of its potential, actually release this energy and allow itself to move to the low potential side of the battery. So electric charge goes from high potential to low potential. High potential charge go over to low potential as long as it is given a pathway to go through. Once you add a pathway and allow it to go through, charges will choose to roll down from the high potential to the low potential, just like a roller coaster. It provided by an electric source like a battery causes electric charges to move around a circuit. Similar to a roller coaster, there are positions of high potential and low potential in the circuit, and therefore the difference between the high and the low potential causes the electric charges to move. They drop from the higher potential to the lower potential. So over here is a device that is used to measure the potential difference. When there is potential difference across a conductor, a current will flow through the conductor. The SI unit of potential difference is the volt, the symbol is V, especially by using the voltmeter. Over here you can see a small little minus sign, this would be the negative terminal. And over here is a small little plus sign next to this connector, this would be the positive terminal. The positive terminal has to be connected with reference to the positive terminal of the power source. And the negative terminal has to be connected with reference to the negative terminal of the power source. This sounds similar to the N meter connection, however, it actually is completely different because the voltmeter must be connected in parallel with the circuit. It is connected differently compared to the emitter. The emitter, if you remember, had to be connected along the main line, maybe somewhere right here. However, the voltmeter must be connected in parallel to the main line, which means it must not be on the main line itself. The voltmeter has very high resistance, so a negligible current actually flows through the voltmeter. You always arrange the voltmeter around the object that you want to measure the potential difference of. So arrange it like this to measure the potential difference across the battery. Notice that the charges flowed around the circuit, but they did not go through the voltmeter. Only a negligible current actually goes through this part. If you wanted to arrange, if you wanted to measure the potential difference across a light bulb instead, you would arrange it like this, whereby the plus sign reference to the positive terminal over here of the power source and the negative terminal connected over here in reference to the negative terminal of the power source. But since it is over the light bulb, you will actually measure the potential difference across the light bulb here instead.